Hey Central New Market, there was 14 sales in the month of October and one of them sold for $250,000 less than it did in February 2022. Hey, I'm Darcy Toombs, real estate broker and team leader with Toombs Team Real Estate Group at Coldwell Banker and this is your November sold report for Central New Market. Now in the month of October, there was 14 sales for the whole community, nine of which were freehold homes, ranging in price from $680,000 for a fixer upper to $1.85 million for a renovated bungalow on a massive lot on Andrew Street. There was five condo sales for the month, four of which were apartments on Davis Drive, and there was one condo townhouse that sold at Robertson Place at 115 Main Street South. There was also a sale of a new unit at the Davis, which is a new condo building being built at Davis Drive and Parkside Drive. That was a 643 square foot unit, which sold for just over $700,000, working out to be around $1,100 per square foot. This project is nearing completion, so it will be really interesting to see if more builder units come to the market as we get close to that occupancy date. Now, when it comes to over asking sales, there were a few. Six of the 14 sales were actually sold at or above the asking price, with one of them being $80,000 over the $800,000 asking price for a nice bungalow on Monkswood Crescent. The percentage of homes selling at or above the asking price is certainly on the decline, and we're gonna talk a little bit about that in a moment. There were some very interesting sales in the month of October that are certainly worth talking about. There was a sale on Cody Crescent, a street I actually used to live on, which sold for $250,000 below what they had actually bought it for in February of 2022. This is real money and the sellers of that home lost that amount of equity plus any of the closing costs that would have been associated with their initial purchase and the sale of the property. Also important to note is that there was actually two sales in the community on really desirable lots that helped push prices up. That renovated bungalow on Andrew Street I already mentioned that sold for a million eight fifty, and an adorable bungalow that was on Parkview Crescent that backed onto Haskett Park, which is actually one of my favorite parks in all of Newmarket. Now for expectations, I'm really not expecting to see a lot more inventory build up in this community over the next few months. There's already a lot of condos listed in the area and we're starting to see those prices come down which should help burn some of that inventory off. And I think we'll also start to see some of the prices in Quaker Hills start to slowly decline as we've seen a large number of homes sitting on the market for greater than three weeks, which typically means they're getting primed and ready for a price reduction. And also, good to note that new listings coming to the market are likely gonna be priced more aggressively than the existing inventory. This all said, of course, this neighborhood is one of the most desirable in all of town. So please, homeowners, don't freak out. You live in a great spot. There's gonna be buyers for homes like yours, but just know that we are in a changing market and we need to be ready for that and understand what that means. Now, as for new market as a whole, it was the slowest month for sales since October of 1999, when there was actually also only 57 sales that month. And this is also for all housing types, not just freehold detached homes, all housing types, including condos. Active inventory was the highest it's been in over four years at 243 active listings at the end of October and is still continuing to grow to this day. So this actually works out to a month of inventory of 4.26, which is the highest it's been since January of 2019. While the average sale price in town was actually up by $50,000 over September, it was largely due to six big sales that happened in town, over $1.5 million, and really a low number of condo sales for the whole month. 49% of all sales actually happened between $1 million and $1.5 million. So a big bulk of them were right in that segment. And we actually did have a home sale in Copper Hills for a brand new record for a single family home selling for nearly $4 million, which is the highest price ever for a home in Newmarket that's a single family that's not being sold to a developer. This was an absolute stunner on a massive lot, had an amazing backyard with pool and a separate guest house. This was a really special home. Not really surprising to see the price, especially when you look at 
what comparable homes like this one would sell for in Aurora or Richmond Hill. It's right in line with that, but again, it's still a record sale and it's something that we're quite excited to see happen. Now as for the whole region, inventory was up across the region and all municipalities, except for actually Markham, Markham had a slight decrease in the number of active listings at the end of the month. And actually, Wichert Stouffville also maintained 188 active listings, the same number of active listings that they had at the end of September. With inventory up across the region, coupled with the sluggish sales that we're seeing, the months of inventory is up across the board. Except for actually Markham and Wichert Stouffville, which have seen a slight decrease in the months of inventory, but still are maintaining high levels of inventory. East Gwillimbury in Georgina, your month of inventory or the highest has been in a long time sitting at over 6.5, which is a big number, meaning things are gonna be slow for a while. So I hope you enjoy this video. Now we don't make these to scare people into not doing anything in real estate, but we do wanna make sure we are informing our community of what's actually happening out there so you can make informed decisions. We also wanna demonstrate that we have a solid understanding of what's going on in the real estate market to help guide our clients through the challenges of a changing real estate market. And as mentioned, we actually did have a record sale in the month of October. So the real estate market is fluid and ever changing and everyone's situation is going to be quite unique. We do not think the sky is falling or the real estate market is imploding, but we do need to acknowledge the fact that the market is a lot different than it was a year ago. If you know of anybody that might really enjoy this video or benefit from it, please share it with them. And if you have any questions or concerns about any of the information that we've provided in this report, please reach out. We'd love to start a conversation with you about your unique situation. And if you're a homeowner and you wanna get an idea on what your home's worth in today's market, we can provide you with a complimentary and honest home evaluation to give you a realistic idea of what your home would be worth in today's market. So you can get a better idea on how to strategize your next move. Go to tombs.team slash value for more information. We'll see you next month.